Hi, I'm Ricey, and you all need to stop claim jumping for that cargo. Now, I've been seeing all of these posts about cargo and illegal money for uh, from the salvage missions. But let me tell you, these are not cargo missions. They're salvage missions. And people are complaining that they're losing money by going around and claim jumping, basically. Well, I spent 50000 AUC and the thing was empty. Or I... I went through and spent, you know, 500,000 and I never got any of that back. Well, it's because you're not doing what you need to be doing. They're made for salvaging. They're not made for the cargo. Also, I see a lot of people going through and doing these salvages and just be like, oh, the guns aren't worth it and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Well, it's because y'all aren't doing the right ship. I'm here to tell you there's only one ship you should be doing, and that's the Aegis Hammerhead. Now, let's get started. First of all, in salvaging, you need a multi-tool and a tractor beam attachment. You have to have this to be able to do anything. I mean, technically you don't, but your life's going to be a million times easier if you just have these things. And you can do all of this with a friend and a second ship, but if you're going to unload your vulture into a cargo ship, make sure you or your friend owned both the vulture and the cargo ship. Transferring scrap from the vulture over to the cargo ship, and one of them's yours and one of them's not, it's marking the goods as stolen when they're not, even if you're in the same party or whatever. Uh, I'm assuming this is just a glitch. Surely they'll work this out. Don't know why. It's happening, but it's happening. It's fine. Anyways, we're going over this like you're only by yourself and you're in a vulture. So you have your multi-tool. Let's go get in your vulture. Let's pull up those contracts. And the first thing we're going to do is try to find a good location. You want like Ark L1 or Her L1 or Crew L1. You know, you want one of those that's pretty close to a city. That way we're not dri flying, driving. That way we're not flying way out of our way just to go sell stuff. I wasn't lucky. The closest one I found was Arc L3, which is not too far from Crusader. Um, but this is actually gonna help me out and I didn't even realize it. So we're gonna break this up into three sections. The first one being guns, second one being cargo, and the last one being the most important, scrap. So we've arrived at our claim. We're here, we're gonna park as close as we can. We can go ahead and jump out. And we noticed that the hammerhead has 24 rhino repeaters, size four. And you're like, oh, those don't sell for that much. Well, no, but there's 24 of them. So that adds up and you can fit 12 in the back of the vulture. You kind of get some weird, like they jump around a lot and move around. I even had one time where they kind of like unloaded half of them. And when that happened, it was kind of a pain. It took me a little bit longer, but whatever. I got them in there two trips. Now what's cool is normally these guns sell for about 2k and I believe you can sell them at any gun shop across the verse. Correct me if I'm wrong. There might be some places you can't. And in those you can usually sell them for about 2,000 a piece. So there's 24 of them. That's 48,000. With that alone right there, you've almost covered the cost of your mission. So it's kind of smart to go after those and grab those just because it covers that cross. Then all your scrap and all your cargo is going to be pure profit at that point. At Arc L3 and probably several other gun shops, I just know Arc L3 because I was there, they actually sell for 3,561. So I already started with just selling the guns at 85,464. Crazy, I'm throwing numbers everywhere. It's fine. So we're already in profit, which is great. So that takes a couple times because it does take two strips. And if you have like a cargo ship, like a Cuddy Black or something like that, bring that over first, take all the guns, do that separately. Cause I think you can probably fit all, I mean, maybe, I don't know, I haven't tried it. Maybe you can fit all 24 guns in one and then you're only doing one trip. And you might even be able to fit the four cargo if you find the cargo. Let's talk about cargo. I was very unlucky in this one. As you see, there's an empty cargo bay. It happens. Um, but I have had ones where I've 
gotten four crates, so it's kind of a chance you either get four crates or you get nothing, I think. I don't know if it's like three to four crates or two to four crates, I don't know. Every time I've found them, there's been four. And I've sold them anywhere for as low as $20,000, just because it was like just small little like $5,000 boxes. And then I've sold them as high as 140,000 for just the four boxes. And that's because one box was Quant, one box was Maze, one box was uh, Slam, and one box was Widow. So it was just phenomenal pull. And then on top of that, scrapping it. So you can actually, this is like a great bonus to have when it comes to uh, scrapping. It is not the primary money maker though. And that's why we're gonna get to the final part of this video, scrapping. You have bought a scrap claim for a reason. And why are we picking the hammerhead? We've already said the guns are great. But there's also another reason. This thing is flat across the board. There's not a lot of like holes and stuff. Like there's kind of that middle area, but not it's not too bad. But you just kind of pick a spot, go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Now I have noticed with the servers and stuff, if you're not on a stable server, stop it like halfway on the full and see if it'll keep going. Cause I've had them to where like, I'll stop at half and it keeps going. Like I I've turned off my mining mode, it keeps going and it fills that whole box up. And you wanna do this to make sure you're not missing out on scrap. So be careful with that. Um, if the servers are running fine, it should pretty much just stop immediately. And if it stops immediately, just start going. Go as quickly as you can. Because it's going to take some time. Because it's a big ship. Another reason why I do this is the hammerhead is because I always fill up my vulture twice. In this uh, first run, back to Orison, I did 20 total. So I put 12 on the grid and then I put 8 on this side. Which is what you need to do. You can fit... You can do 24 boxes back there. It's a little crazy. 23 is a little safer to get away with because you can just, you don't have to worry about moving as much stuff, but you can get away with 24. It's just hard. Uh, I take 20 because 20 is a little bit easier. All you have to do is fill your grid up of 12 and then you just start pulling it and go down that little hallway there until you fill that up. And you just, they will not snap. So you kind of just have to Kind of like the guns, just kind of like stack them. When we go back for the second trip, we do another 16. So on this job specifically, we pulled 36 total boxes, which is my best yet. Before this was 32 that I've done, and I've done like 28, I've done like 30. So 36 is definitely my best yet, which is roughly 277,000 in just scrap alone. So that is a 200 and $25,000 profit right there. The least amount I've pulled on these was 28. Now the most is 36. So there's probably like a range in there where you're gonna find, or maybe I just missed some stuff on that other one. And when that bar runs out at the top of saying, hey, you're complete, you're not done. You just won't have it on your map anymore. There's still usually like quite a few more boxes that you can pull off of that. So keep going. In the end, this job paid me 362,504 AUEC. That's pretty good. And it's about 120,000 an hour. Because it took me roughly three hours to do this. And that's with going back and forth. So if you have one a little bit closer, it's not going to take as long. Because I was like 18 million away from Crusader. And I do not have upgraded drives right now. After seeing all of this, hopefully you liked this video. And if so, make sure you put a thumbs up on it. And if you want to keep seeing more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I also have Twitch if you want to catch me on Friday nights with Star Citizen stuff at 7 p.m. Central Time. I will be live streaming every Friday on Twitch. And I also have a Twitter where I post all my screenshots. This has been super consistent through all of my Hammerhead claims. I've done, I'd say, roughly five or six with either just by myself or with a friend. Uh, just kind of messing around. I think it's about six, give or take. My best being though is $450,000. And that's when I found that maze and stuff. This is the correct way to salvage. Like how to use these missions. 
Stop using them as claim jumps. Because you'll never make consistent money doing that. You need to scrap. Scrap on the scrap missions. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.